Shakram Gyasov versus Christian Gomez. As you guys can tell by the title, this fight is official. Before I get more into the video, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more boxing and please hit that like button. It helps out the video, it helps out the channel. I'd really appreciate it. So this fight between Gyasov and Christian Gomez, to those who don't know, will be taking place on the 7th of May, May 7, 2022. Live over at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, USA to take place in the undercard of the Saul Canelo Alvarez versus Dimitri Bivol fight which will be shown live around the world on the Zone pay-per-view. Well, except for the uh, Mexico. I don't think it's going to be on the Zone pay-per-view. It's going to be a different channel over in Mexico. Anyway, um, great addition to the card in my opinion. This fight between uh, Gyasov and Gomez, a very, very good addition to the card. Uh, apparently, Gyasov is currently training with uh, Bivol in his gym and Gomez is currently training with Canelo in his gym. So, both fighters from Team Canelo and Team Bivol. Um, yeah, I like it. I like it. I, I'm very much excited to see this event. Um, Gyasov, to those who don't know who he is, he's a 28-year-old fighter from Uzbekistan. Very popular over in Uzbekistan. Uh, also known as the Wonder Boy. He has over like a million followers on social media. Um, yeah, that's how popular he is over in Uz Uzbekistan. Uh, currently 12-0, 9 wins coming by way of Nakar Tikio, coming off a win against Christian Rafael Correa, where he won by unanimous decision over in his home country of Uzbekistan. Uh, that was back in December of uh, last year. Um, I remember that fight being closer than what the judges had. Every single judge, pretty much, all the judges, all two judges pretty much gave him every single round, but I remember that fight being closer. But anyway, here he is in his 13th professional fight. Uh, oh, by the way, Yasob is also, you know, he's a top fighter. He's a top, he's in the top uh, 15. If you look at the 140-pound division, uh, Shakram Yasob is currently ranked number 11 by the IBF and currently ranked number 7 by the WBA. So he's up there in the rankings. All he needs to do is just keep winning fight after fight. And I'm sure he'll move up in the rankings and eventually fight for a world title. Um, but he needs to win. That's what he needs to do. I mean, he has two fellow Uzbek fighters who are also top fighters in this division. Uh, Agarishev, who I think recently just retired, but it's it's kind of unclear if he's actually retired or he's just taking a break. And uh, Akhmedov, who is uh, also up there in the rankings. So, so yeah, he has some competition from his own country. Uh, Uzbekistan is a rising name when it comes to the sport of boxing, so start paying attention now to a lot of these Uzbek uh, fighters. Uh, he's going in there against uh, Christian Gomez, a 28-year-old fighter from Mexico. From Guadalajara, Mexico, um, 22 and 2, one draw, 20 wins coming by way of Nakar Tikio. It looks like most of his career took place over in Mexico. He's fought outside Mexico a couple times. Uh, I think it was in the undercards of Canelo's fights actually in 2020 and 2021, um, where he won those fights by Tikio. I think I might have seen him fight actually, Christian Gomez. I think I might have. I remember seeing uh, uh, or reading about it uh, when he fought against uh, Angel Hernandez and Javier. Wilson. But here he is um, fighting an undefeated Yasov. Uh, a big opportunity for Gomez. Um, plus it's in the undercard of a big event over in Vegas. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. As a boxing fan and you know, knowing Yasov over the past how many years now, I'm excited to see how he'll do. And he needs to, he needs to impress in this fight, Yasov. If he wants to uh, attract the American fight fans, he needs to impress look good. And um, and same for Christian Gomez. If he wants to impress and be that next star from Mexico, uh, you know, it's a big opportunity for them. Again, like I said, it's it's a big card, big event coming up on May 7th. I'm very much looking forward to it. The Zone pay-per-view. F it, man. I hate pay-per-view, but I'll be watching. I'll be buying. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And like always, have a great day. All right. Thanks.